as we're going to machine develop these, I don't want to open the canisters. We need to get the leaders out. The other day we stripped down a load of disposable cameras um, and we've got all of these films, some of them are over 20 years old in fact. So what we're going to do is we are going to mass process them through all of our machines and this is how we're going to do it. So first step is we need to attach them to leader card so then go through the machine. So film one will go there, we want to make sure we have a flat edge on both of them. This one already has a flat edge so we only really need to guillotine this one. So we'll guillotine that gives us a nice flat edge. We'll pull that film out so it is level with the leader card. Get a bit of tape. And just tape it to the leader card which is very fiddly. Especially when it's really really old film. But the last thing is you do not want this coming off inside the machine because it wouldn't help. So we're going to stick this very old, uh, very old film on that side. So our machine will do two films at once. Um, so those films are now attached on that side. For safety, we actually attach both sides of the film. So I also do not want to have to go fishing about to try and find these if they let loose. Right, so we're then going to put this into this V30 here. So open up that door, we'll stick it in, we'll stick it in there, that's it. Yep. Push that all the way in, and the film's sitting there, then we close it, light goes off, and it will now start dragging it in through. And then you can see it being pulled through. That's going to take about 10 minutes. Here we've got a QSF B30 made by Noritsu. It will process 30 films an hour. Uh, it does two at once. Uh, and it's a C41 process, so it takes a huge amount of labour outside of the films in the tent of the roller. This is a Noritsu HS1800 film scanner. It's the only automated 120 film scanner available today, to my knowledge. Very old, very rare, and very expensive. And this is the Mini Lab QSS3501 Plus which takes the data from here, feeds it onto a screen, then laser prints it onto photographic paper, which is then chemically developed, and then sorted. So the leader card's coming out now, so that's the first film we put through. It's taken about seven minutes. It's dictated by this snake thing. If anyone ever played Nokia, that was what was on. Right, okay, so now I've got these developed, let's print them. So first step, we are going to fold them into our scanner. Right, so now we're going to take them all in. This is the leading technology in film scanning technology. <laughs> scanning twice. Now what it will do is it look at it all, pre-scan it, and then it's going to go back. I've just got to set the um, where the hell the centre because these are obviously a bit faded images. You can see the pink on it. So, because these films are really old, the quality of the image is quite degraded. So what it needs to know is where the 35mm film is, and that is at my best guess where I think it is. Yeah, that looks about right to me. That's the finished product.